Hey guys. So today I want to show you my newest project that I've been working on. Um, now, as you know, as far as gaming on computers go, uh, your best options are Steam. Now, Steam doesn't always have the cloud save ability. A lot of older games just are not under that realm. So uh, when you're playing a game, like let's say an older game, like Diablo um, or uh, Warcraft 3, and you want to play through the storyline, but eventually a new operating system comes out like Windows 10, right? That means you have to reformat your computer, and the probability of you losing that save file is very high. So I thought, why aren't more games like they used to be back in the day with Super Nintendo cartridges that you just plug into a system, play the game, when you're done playing it, pull it back out, and be able to go over to your friend's house and plug that same game in and continue off where you left off in the game without having to worry about any sort of installs or other <clears throat> operating system uh, sort of stuff getting in the way. So that's why I made this project where we take a either an SD card or a USB thumbstick, you can take either or, um, this is a 32 gigabit um, micro SD card just plugged into an adapter here. Now I hate these adapters because they have these little lock switches and this one really is finicky. Um, I, I swear to God, I could barely slide this thing in and it could just pop into lock mode and you're screwed. But <laughs> so I recommend buying, I mean, realistically, you can buy one of these uh, adapter with micro SD card for, I bought this one on eBay for $7 and I think 95 cents free shipping. So it's $8 for a 32 gigabit chip. That's really good <laughs> considering, you know? So you buy your game and you use certain programs to install them on here. And I'll share, I'll share that with you a little bit later. But for right now, here is our finished product. And I'm just going to show you what the finished product looks like first. Uh, so you can see if you really want to dive into this or not. <clears throat> so I'm going to plug it into my SD card reader. Which is plugged into my computer here. And it is through USB. This is not built into my computer. So, you know, you just buy an adapter, basically. And this one's being very finicky. Okay. <laughs> so you plug it in there. I have an auto start um, script in here. So this automatically pops up. It has an icon and the name of the file. So, uh, or the name of the SD card, so you know it's called the Blizzard Entertainment Catalog. And I put a little uh, icon of uh, the Orcs and Humans from the first game of Warcraft 1. If I open it, um, the program that we're looking for is start.exe. What you don't see in here is there are many hidden folders. So if I go under folder options here, and I show you the hidden folders, you can see I have some batch files here. I have an auto run INF file. This is what it looks like here. Um, you probably can't, I don't know if you can read this or not, but it just says start, start.exe, and that only works on Windows Vista and Windows XP and any other older operating systems, but anything newer like Windows 7, 8, 10 don't have the auto run option, so unfortunately that doesn't help us here. But we're at least allowed to rename it um, Blizzard Entertainment Catalog and give it an icon. So. <coughs> Then I have the folders here of the different games um, along with the start.exe file. All right, so let's, let's, let's hide it again, show you. This is a cleaned up version. Um, real, realistically, all you want to show is start.exe. So I double click on it. Opens up a splash screen here. Now, this is the catalog of Blizzard Entertainment games that I know of um, that, are, that are on the computer that don't have cloud saving of any kind, really. Uh, even Diablo 2 does have multiplayer, but they wipe your character if you don't play in 90 days. So, I mean, realistically, you'd want to actually play the openbattle.net <clears throat> option so you can save it onto the card. So, uh, I'll just show you some games on here, and I'll show you what makes this so great uh, as opposed to just installing this. Uh, onto the computer. Now all these games are not installed in this computer, okay? So if I go under control panel here on this computer and I go under programs, you're gonna see that I do have the original Diablo installed. I don't know why. It's really stupid. 
I think I was uh, messing with it. <laughs> but anyways, here. I have no games installed in here. There's no Diablo 2. There's no Warcraft 3. Let's see, uh, STW. It's not here. Warcraft 3 is not there. Um, Starcraft. Only I have two installed, but not number one. And um, Warcraft 2, because I know you can install that. Warcraft 2 is not on here either. So I don't have any games installed on this computer. These are all coming off straight from the SD card. So let's play Diablo 2. What it's doing is it's executing the batch file. And this is playing on Windows 7. You can see my character there, Test. He's a level 8 barbarian. Go into the game, run around a little bit. Um, here's his inventory. He's got uh, this thing, Raven Splitter. Rejuvenation Potion. Uh, some magic <laughs> crappy items. But I'm, you know, I'm just having fun with it. Um, I like, you know, playing this game every now and then. So let's save and exit. Exit Diablo 2. Sorry, uh, because I have two monitors, it shoots everything over to the other monitor here. <laughs> I have to relaunch it. Um, Starcraft Anthology. Anthology. <clears throat> And this one takes a little bit long to launch. It has something to do with the no CD um, crack that's installed in here. I do own this game, obviously. I, I downloaded it from uh, Battle.net, and then I had to install like a no CD and a Windows 7 color fix. But, um, and by install, I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that later. But let's say I want to play the expansion pack. There's my registry. It's right here, Jake, uh, Protoss, whatever. I don't think I actually did anything other than create. Yeah, I just created the profile. I didn't actually play any of the game. Um, but here, we can just show, for example, Protoss Campaign Incomplete. We can just say OK. And I think if we go back, it'll erase that message. Yeah, OK, so now it's erased. See, so it's erased. Uh, just the Zerg says Incomplete. Cancel out of that. And we'll exit StarCraft. We'll go into Warcraft 2, Battle.net. And this one takes a while to launch too. Has a lot to do with the uh, no CD sort of crap. Because uh, I think it's got to la uh, launch the actual file itself or whatever the um, MPQ data files. Uh, so if I load game, you can see I have a game going on here right now. We can load into it. It was nothing but the first level. I just moved the orc a little bit, and that's it. So we'll and exit program. We'll totally exit out of the game. Once again, it shot my uh, splash screen over. Oh, now it's back again. Okay. Um, now, I'll just say briefly what these programs actually are. In here, I'll show you once again the folder options. Uh, these folders, Blackthorn, um, Lost Vikings... The Lost Vikings one uses the arcade program, which is in itself self-contained. Blackthorn, I believe, is just self-contained on its own. Um, but which one am I thinking of here? Uh, Warcraft 1, Orcs and Humans, is DOSBox. DOSBox in itself is self-contained, so we'll just put the executable there and a configuration file to control the speeds and any sort of glitches that go on, and then just create a batch file for Warcraft Orcs, Orcs and Humans. Uh, it looks very complex, but this is because it's on my website, but this shows you how you can pl actually play multiplayer on this game too, which is kind of cool. Um, but then um, games like Warcraft 3, Warcraft 2, Diablo 2, Diablo, Hellfire, Starcraft, these games have a much bigger folder architecture because they are installed using uh, VMware's ThinApp. ThinApp, you just press for it to listen to the installation of a program. You install whatever program you're going to be installing. Make sure it's fully up to date, uh, basically ready to play right out of the box. Then press post scan, and it'll just take every file that was installed, every registry that was created, and put it into a folder. 
and it'll give it to you. And that folder you put onto your SD card. So it's a self-contained environment for StarCraft. So anything I save in the game is self-contained within this SD card. So if I, if I reformat my computer, if I install to Windows 10, whatever I do, everything is self-contained and uh, I will not lose any of my saved data and it'll all stay here. So my characters 10 years from now will still be on this SD card and I won't lose any of my progress within the game. So if I decide to take a break for a while, I can take a break for a while. If I get a virus on my computer and it destroys my computer, that's fine, buy new hardware, buy new software, whatever I need to do. And I'll be back up and running and play my game again in no time. So with that being said, just to show proof of concept, we shall unplug it. Sorry guys, I'm just going to do this in real time because I've had far too many issues with this already. So here's the SD card, my SD card reader. Take it out. I'm going to plug it in. Here, hopefully, I won't bump the lock. Lock drives me crazy. All right, so you can hear the sound. Now, Windows 8 shows even little. All it says is just the name of the SD card, not even an icon. So they really, you know, spit in our face with that. Um, so once again, here we are, splash screen. <clears throat> so let's see if our save games are still on here. Once again, I'll go over to the... Sorry, I forget. Windows 8. Come on. Thing wants to fight with me always. Control panel. Programs. Here, you can see I do not have Diablo 2 installed. I'm under the Ds right there. I don't have Diablo 1. Uh, here I don't have Warcraft 2, Warcraft 3, okay, so all self-contained. Now we'll go to Diablo 2, play it. And there's my test character again. Press on my inventory. Here's my axe, the Raven Splitter, and my crappy magical items. And we'll go ahead and save and exit. <clears throat> uh, Warcraft 2. I'm going to give it a little bit because it's, uh, once again, the no CD. Ugh. Windows 8 does not like it. Um, all right, I'll show you something else. That really sucks. I hate this. Certain programs it doesn't like. Um, all right, StarCraft 2, single player, expansion. Okay. As you can see, it doesn't say it's incomplete, once again. So that means that both of these are fully playable. Or, um, as you can see, it saved It saved the games, is what I mean. Um, it saved exactly what happened. Um, forgot to show Warcraft 3. If you were to see this, basically single player, and there's my account, my camp, my, uh, campaign that I've created. Um, sorry, I forgot to show you on the computer, but basically it's there. Um, and yeah, I believe that's it. You know, these other games do work too, uh, Orcs and Humans. Um, it's just DOSBox self-contained. There's nothing really special about it. I mean, other than the fact that it it'll save your game, it'll save whatever you want to save, whatever. Hellfire, I think, works. There's my character. <laughs> um, you know what? Just for the heck of it, I'll show you that it 
is uh, over here. Plug it in over here. Just for a little bit, I'll show you uh, Hellfire. There's my character again, noob. And here is Frozen Throne again. And there's my campaign again. So see, everything is now self-contained within the SD card. I'll I'll manage the um, other game, uh, Diablo. Wait, no, not Diablo Two. Warcraft Two. I'll work on the uh, Warcraft Two a little bit more um, to get that one working. But you know, it's just really a battle between um, Windows Eight. Windows Eight is sometimes an issue with certain older programs, but <clears throat> for the most part, it's going to work with this whole setup. And the only reason why I gave it a little bit of splash screen was just, you know, so it looks a little bit nicer. So when I put in the SD card, it pops up. Kind of like when you're playing um, on your Super Nintendo, you plug in a game, you press start, it just starts the game right away. You don't have to look on your desktop for an icon and say, oh, where's that icon at? Where's that icon at? You know, it's just, it starts, it's there. It's good to go. So that's what I kind of wanted. I wanted the splash screen to pop up right away, but with operating system constraints uh, not allowing me to do that, uh, at least I can have a little bit of a launch customization a little bit so um yeah if if uh if this interests you guys check out vmware thin app and that'll allow you to put any computer game onto an sd card you can put world of warcraft on an sd card you can put any sd as long as it can fit of course you know i mean they got 32 gigabit i think they have 128s but um those are chinese ones and they're kind of questionable quality um but, you know, it helps when you can put a lot of the retro games on there, the ones that don't have the cloud saveability. Um, it also saves you on install time. I mean, like I said, you reformat your computer, just plug in your SD card again, there's your game. You don't have to reinstall anything, you know? Um, it just saves a lot of time. I mean, you can do this with other programs, too. You can do it with Dreamweaver, uh, Fireworks, Photoshop. You know, you have your programs that you use every day, Maybe you just want to take that with you. Um, you know, when you get home, on your desktop, plug in your thumb drive, use your programs, and then once you're um, on the road again, unplug it, put it into your um, your laptop or your tablet or something and be able to work um, on the road with that sort of stuff. Um, and I'll just launch the program thin app just to kind of show you what it's taught, what it says. You know, as soon as you start it up, it just says, um, here's the guidelines. You're going to pre-scan, you're going to install the program, post-scan, set up the configurations, and then build. That's it. And by build, I mean all you do is press a button that says build. Uh, configuration just says where are you going to put this program at. On a network, on your USB drive, uh, something like that. And what you're going to do is select that USB option because chances are you're going to put this either on a USB drive or you're going to put it on a uh, thumbstick of some kind <clears throat> to uh, run this program. So... You know, I think it's a really good idea, and um, some other fun things that you can do with this is maybe you could, uh, if you have a 3D printer or something, if you have a 3D printer, you could print out, like, something like a, a console, right? You could you could make a little USB, um, like, Super Nintendo or something like that, right? And you can plug it into your computer and then make little cartridges that could self-contain these... Um, little micro SD cards, you know, inside the little um, cartridges. So you have like a Super Nintendo cartridge you just plug into a, uh, you know, into uh, your Super Nintendo, your 3D printed Super Nintendo, and uh, make little labels for them or something, and say like this is the uh, battle, this is the Blizzard Entertainment catalog right here. And uh, I think my next one I'm gonna do like humongous entertainment games. Uh, point-and-click adventure games um, that I've always had issues with finishing, you know. So that way if I get halfway through it and I reformat my computer, I don't lose the whole process all over again. 
um, older games like uh, maybe um, Command and Conquer games, uh, Age of Empire games. Those are really long games with no cloud saving feature. <laughs> so, you know, if you have issues with getting through a whole campaign that could be 100 plus hours, it's a, it's a nice idea to be able to store these things on, on little SD cards. Um, so anyways, if you guys liked watching that, uh, be sure to check out my website, newagesoldier.com, for other projects. Uh, but otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.